It's Nick Dradius again with Compact for America, Compact for America Live in conjunction with IHS of George Mason University. With me today is the CEO of Compact for America Educational Foundation, Chip DeMoss. And uh, Chip, welcome to the show. Hey, Nick. Thanks for having me and I appreciate the Compact Commission asking that I come on to your show and explain how I think the Compact is different from the other approaches to Article 5. What do you think is the best way to go, Chip? Well, I like Thomas Jefferson. I mean, he realized that less than 10 years after the Constitution had been ratified, if there was one amendment that he would want to get done, it's an amendment to take away the power of the federal government from borrowing. And that's the root cause, we believe, of all the problems with our expansive federal governments because they have unlimited borrowing capacity. That's what we want to attack, and we want to attack it quickly. That's why you can read the, the balanced budget amendment in the compact. It's a known objective. It's, the language cannot be changed at the convention. The 24-hour convention is simply an, the formal proposal to propose that particular amendment for ratification. Again, it's a debt control amendment. It's not a deficit control amendment. It's the debt control amendment that have the economists excited currently. Again, there's no drafting at the convention, only proposing the BBA. The compact, because it limits the, dele the number of delegates in each state to three, will have less than 150 delegates at the convention. And because of that, it's only a 24-hour convention. The cost of that 24-hour convention will be minimal. 